Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I bought this week, some things that I'm investing in from our personal collection, as well as some stuff that will be going on consignment, just a few items, and then we're going to open up some packs at the very end, some different packs, ones we haven't opened up in quite a while. So, here's the first item, we have this EX Hidden Legends booster box, and it has an acrylic display with it, this one's going for consignment, uh, the price is $12,000, I believe the one on the cheapest side Sony, but it was about $15,000, um, but... Uh, we saw some sales for uh, that weren't quite that high, so we went ahead and we decided, you know, let's just kind of cut it in the middle. Let's go with about twelve grand on this box. And if you're familiar with the EX series, man, whew, these boxes are super low print, and this one is in great condition. Probably one of the best EX series boxes I've seen condition-wise in quite a long time. Most of the time, when you do find them, they are they're pretty rough. But this one, like I said, is going to be for sale for $12,000. It has a lot of good cards in the EX Hidden Legends set. No gold stars, but it does have cards like the Ninetales EX, which just recently went for, I believe it was over a thousand bucks for the PSA 10. It's got the Regice, Regirock, Registeel, and then there's some, some other good ones like the Kyogre and the Groudon, and other cards that people really like. It did come, it does come with a box topper. Um, what I mean by that is, there were box toppers introduced in Expedition, or actually not in Expedition, in Legendary Collection, but they were bigger. They were, they were bigger than regular cards, but smaller than the jumbo cards that we have now. Uh, these actually had box toppers inside of them that were regular sized cards, and I believe it's the Groudon for this one, Rudon, Groudon, uh, number 102, because I believe the set has 101 cards. It's hard for me to, I can't remember everything for the EX series as well as I do. Uh, Watsy, but I'm pretty sure that is correct. Next up, I did buy another booster box, or I did buy a booster box. I bought this one for $8,500. I got it off of eBay. Uh, many of you know I was looking for an unlimited fossil box. I had some people offer some out to me, but this one was in really good shape. Relatively, anyway, you can see right there's a dent, but it's good enough for my personal collection. I don't, I'm not terribly picky on booster boxes um, because I know that everything inside is still in great condition. But this one was actually pretty good, and I went ahead and decided to go with it. Uh, at the time when I did the trade, it was valued around ten thousand, so it come down a little bit, and I was happy with that because when I traded, I got a little bit more out of um, the, the trade on that end. All right, let's see. Next up. Oh wait, man, I totally forgot to read the dude's letter for the consignment. So let's see, <laughs> what is that? Alright, so this is for the EX Hidden Legends uh, box. He has sent a letter along with it. I tell everybody, anytime you send me something like a consignment or something, just send a, send a note uh, just so that I can read that and uh, keep it with it. <laughs> it's like an old turtle. I guess he's trying to say I'm old. All right, so let's see what he said. Hey, Rusty, me and my buddy really appreciate you taking the time to respond and be willing to help out with the sale of this box and mentioning it in your video. Been watching your vids for over a year now and still learning something new with all the quality content you produce. Keep up the hard work. Us guys from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, know you have transcended the Pokemon game. We hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Again, thank you so much. Sincerely, at, there he is. Cobb Web Comics, Tristan Cobb, and then at Devin Key, Devin Key, okay, D V N K E Y, and then on the side it says you're not as you're not old as long as there's a little bit of whipper left in your snapper, and then he has a uh, a squirtle right there, looks like it was hand drawn. Pretend this card is a Christmas card. Well, I definitely appreciate that. He sent this out, I think, on the. We're supposed to arrive on the 28th of December, but everybody knows the post office right now is just whack. So I just now got it, and uh, you guys should see this box up for sale there. Uh, speaking of people that have uh, been working hard, Pokey Dreamer, man, he has been working on his site. He's the guy with those acrylic displays that uh, you could put PSA cards in there, and they're like UV resistant, and he had the stuff for the Southern Islands. Actually, I added one of his affiliate links down there in my description. Uh, I think he sold out of most everything, but you guys should check it out. I mean, he's done a really good job. He's, he added 3 by 3 and a 4 by 4 like display and the reason the 4x4 is really nice is because that matches the jungle and the the base set and the Japanese base set and some other sets as well because there's 16 holographic cards and that's what a lot of people collect so I think that was a really good addition to it and he's added some other product as well alright next up we have oh yeah so I bought this I got an Arcanine and why is that stuck there I got a Muck Dodrio, Firo, 
Golduck, and Voltorb. I think I want all these off of PWCC. You know, it's, it's kind of cool because I like seeing these go into auction because they're going to go for more than your regular reverse holographic, but they're not as crazy as the prices that people ask in buy nows. Like, I offered a guy, he, he was selling me six reverse hollows. I ended up wanting five of them, and I offered him like 3200 bucks for them. And, he said no, it was way lower than what he wanted. But, you know, it's crazy because I actually I went off of recent sales and it was higher than the recent sales. And he said that they were lower than the recent sales. So maybe he was looking at something else that I don't. I, I use this, uh, I think it's like sale point, 130 sale point or something like that. So it actually shows the best offers that were accepted. But these actually went into no reserve auctions through PWCC. And I wanted for all of like between two and 300 bucks a piece. This one was a little bit more. Because I mean, it is Arcanine. So I was happy to win that. Most of the time, people want like over five, six hundred bucks for PSA 10 reverse hollows from Legendary Collection. It is a really tough set to get stuff out of, but uh, to me, it just seems a little high, especially when the auctions go for a lot lower. But you know, I totally get it. And you know, if I was selling, you know, I'm probably going to be matching whoever's the the next or whoever's going to be the lowest. So I'd be like one penny <laughs> cheaper than that. So I get it. And um, hopefully, as I continue to work on this set, and you guys hook me up with cards. You know, we're going to. Now complete these sets and then eventually do videos on them. I think that'll be pretty cool. All right, next up we have, uh, I bought another purchase, or I had another purchase for some Legendary Collection of Reverse Hollows. Got the Jolteon, I did pay up for this one. You got the Dark Dragonair and the Skarmory. I think I paid 1600 bucks for these three. Uh, this was a couple hundred bucks. This was like four or three. This was like three something, maybe this was two. And this was about 1100 or so, because this one did have some recent sales around that price. And this one had, um, had a, a, a best offer that was like the dude was asking like 1500 GBP and it went for like 200 and some and then so it was like it was just over 300 bucks or between 3 and 400 bucks so uh, for $1600 I think I paid for right about what these were worth and I'm happy to just knock off a few more cards from the from the list if you guys are wondering what list I'm talking about down here in the description, I keep all my important links and stuff. The link tree actually takes you to a lot of stuff, but my IGs, my emails, my PSA want list, just stuff that I, you know, that I feel comfortable supporting or being a part of. Next up, we have this right here. We have a first edition 4.5. Sorry, <clears throat> I lost my breath there for a second. Charizard from base set. Uh, this was a cool grade to add to the collection. You guys know that I have a PSA one all the way through ten and. I do have a few gray stamps, I have a few half stamps, thicks and thins, but I uh, did not have a 4.5, so this was really nice to add to the collection. I think I paid $6,000 for that one. Next up, we have an Articuno. This is from the Legendary Collection. It's the hollow one. These are really tough to come across. They're not, it's, it's just, Legendary Collection is just a hard set to find. It was so unpopular for the longest time, and it's not an easy set to grade. I think the Charizard only has 12 PSA 10 copies. Articuno is pretty low as well. I think I paid two thousand dollars for this card, and um, after a month, I still hadn't received any tracking information. I tried reaching out to the guy's email, couldn't remember where I bought it, and um, so eventually I just had to open up a PayPal case. In fact, I need to close it out. Uh, it'll be closed out by the time you guys see this video. But when I'm <laughs> while I'm recording it, it's not actually closed out, so I need to close it because I didn't escalate. I just opened it up through the messages message center because I didn't know how to contact the guy. It had been a month and there'd been no tracking. And they reached out to me, apologized. He said he was sorry, he hadn't sent it, he had just forgotten. And he sent it out and then along with it, he actually sent two free cards to help make up. So we have a Metagross and this is a holographic one from the Pop Series 1. If you guys are familiar with the Pop Series, these were like little promotional packs, kind of like the sample packs uh, that uh, you could get from League. And inside the pack, there were two cards. And those two cards were always non-holographic. And the Umbreon and Espeon from Pop Series 5 are immensely popular. However, you could get holographic versions from like blister packs and different types of uh, big collection boxes. And that's how you get the holographic ones. And ironically enough, the non hollows are usually more expensive because they're the ones that come from packs. You only get two cards per pack, and usually there's not a rare in there. So, But this is still really cool. I appreciate it. Hollows are tough to grade, so if that's meant, I mean, it's being in a card saver, maybe that's a, maybe that's a good thing. Next up we have Charizard GX. This is from Generations. This is not the one from the Battle Academy because you don't see the little Charizard symbol over there, but still a really cool card to get and you can bet that I will be sending it off to PSA. In fact, I'm going to put this one back in here. Alright, next up I have four unweighed Platinum Supreme Victors Booster Packs. These came from one seller and this came from a seller as well. And we're going to open these up. 
I'm just looking for the reverse holographic Charizard from Supreme Victories. That's the only thing that I'm really looking for. And um, so I'm going to just go for it. Right now, nobody's selling me their PSA 10. I've got nines. I've got several raw ones that I've, I've gotten. No tens yet. And I have several at PSA. So while I'm waiting, I figure, you know what? Let's just buy some Supreme Victors packs and see if we can get one pulled. All right. So we'll just open the pack straight through since I'm not really sure how it works out. I got Piplup, Meowth, Zubat, Wismer, Cumbi. Got a reverse hollow Krogunk. So did not get that, but we can still get something cool here. We did not. Got the Spinda. Then we have Milotic, Cherum, and Murkrow. So it's going to be the fourth and fifth card off the bat. The fourth card will be like where we could get something cool like a Charizard Level X, which ironically I have both the promo version and the pack version in a PSA 10. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, those two right there. We'll look at the other cards Paris, Beldum, Skaroopy, Mime Jr., Gibble, Yanma, Hippotatus, and Palmer's Contribution. Ooh, we got a Buizel Reverse Holler and an Empoleon FB. Alright, two packs to go. Hopefully, we can get us something nice. By the way, if any of you have the Mega Charizard boxes that were released in Europe or the figure, the Mega Charizard figure boxes that were released here in America that have the Cosmos Charizard in there, I am buying those. Um, did I do that right? I think I did that right. And uh, definitely going to pay more than the original MSRP. But I'm looking for those, just trying to get that Cosmos Legendary Charizard. Those, those are the two Charizards I need. The one from that you can get from these packs and then the one that you have to get from the collection boxes. Ooh, man. Thought it was a fire Charizard for there for a second. We've got the Magmortar. And they, oh, we got us a hollow. Wow, look at that. Man, it's like super hollow. Straight over the entire Yen Mega. It's like a hollow bleed. Or a mega hollow bleed. But it's not like hollow bleeding through the actual text of the card, which you see that a lot of. But man, look at those wings. I mean, it's like straight printed over it. One more chance for this video, and then we're going to call it quits for today. I really appreciate all you guys for uh, taking the time to watch these videos, and for those of you who are girls, I don't mean anything by saying guys, it's just the way, it's just an easier word to say than guys and gals. Oh, there we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe, I know many of you already have, but it's always appreciated. Oh, Rhyperior, Rhyperior and Magmortar are pretty similar. Uh, maybe not, just maybe this is their body composure, and then we have a rare seeking. So duds from the supreme victors packs so the search continues but i appreciate y'all thank you very much for supporting my channel by watching these videos and uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions thanks